in last class i taught you about the heterotrophic nutrition today i am going to teach nutrition in a human beings human digestive system is very complex in nature different parts are involved and perform different functions by various juices and enzymes now let us observe the figure of digestive system you see here the digestive system started from the mouth to the anus it is extended from the mouth and went to the anus the alimentary canal is basically belong to extending from the mouth to the anus we can see that the tube has different parts where is within sara specialist to perform different functions we know we eat various types of food which has passes through the digestive tract it also has to convert to small substance enough to utilize to by our body next i am going to teach pass to food through alimentary canal or gut we know when we take food it is cut and crushed by teeth in the mouth and mixed with the saliva to make it wet and slippery this process is called as mastication in the form of three pairs of salivary glands are you see the figure chart two pairs are located at the side of the jaw this is the side of the jaw and below the tongue one pair is located at the palate here saliva mainly contains
gastric juice and HCl, hydrochloric acid. Now food is a semi-solid condition. The digestion of food goes on as most proteins break down into small molecules with the help of enzyme Pepsi action on them. Now food is soft, slippy substance where some proteins and carbohydrates here already brought down is called a chyme. Then what is a chyme? Now food is a soft, slippy substance where some proteins and carbohydrates here already broken down is called a chyme. Now the food material passes from the stomach to the small intestine. Here, ringy like muscles called a pyloric sphincter relax to open passes into small intestine. The sphincters are responsible for regulating the opening of the passage such that only small quantities of food material may be passed into small intestine. The small intestine is the longest part of the alimentary canal. Then question is there, which is the longest part of the alimentary canal? What is the answer? The small intestine is the longest part of the alimentary canal. It is the site for further digestion of carbohydrates, protein and fats. Fats are digested by converting them into smaller globules like forms by the action of bile juice secreted by the liver. This process is called a emulsification. Then what is called emulsification? Fats are digested by converting them into small globule like forms by the action of bile juice secreted by the liver. This process is called a emulsification. Next, pancreatic juice secreted from the pancreas contain enzymes like trypsin for carrying one process of digestion of proteins and lipids for fats. Then, bars of the small intestine separate. Intestinal juice called a succus enricus, which is carrying this process further, that is, a small molecules of proteins are brought down into further small molecules. The fats also get in their same condition. Carbohydrates digestion start in the mouth, did not occur in stomach, receives now as the medium. Gradually change into alkaline one and the enzymes become active for carbohydrate breakdown. So the complete digestion takes place in the small intestine. Next, the digestive food absorbed by the body. The transport of the production of digestion from the small intestine to blood is called the absorption. Passing undigested material from the body by the way of anus is called defecation. Then what is called a defecation? Passing of undigested material from the body by the way of anus is called a defecation. Next, I am going to teach about some health aspects of the alimentary canal. We know Sometimes when we take food, sometimes we feel to vomit. Vomit is the body's method of riding itself of the unwanted or harmful substance from the stomach. The peristaltic movement of the stomach and usophagus reverse their normal direction and the food is expelled out. Causes for vomiting. What are the causes for vomiting? Overeating, especially when the food contains high proportion of fat. Vomiting also occurs when we eat something very indigestible or poisonous. Sometimes we feel to vomit greenish vomit. Greenish vomit is called as bilious or liver rash. This vomit tastes bitter. This happens when we take rich meals after several days. 
Why? Because the liver is the underbed to cope with the excessive fat and the fluid nausea. Next year I am going to teach. We can take some care about the indigestion. Some process we can follow. First one is having simple well balanced meal. Second one is eating them in a leisurely manner. Third one is thoroughly masticating the food. Next one, avoiding taking violent exercise soon after eating food. Drinking plenty of water and having regular bowel movements.
Okay, children. Today's class finished. Thank you.